So today in class we talked about how to solve equations when there was already a log in the equation. Okay, um, We rewrote it in exponential form and solved. All right. What happens though when there's not a logarithm in the equation? There's a couple ways you can go about this. Okay, We could actually, first of all, we could take the log of both sides. If we do it to one side, we got to do it to both. Okay, And because the exponent is where the variable is, we could solve this problem by taking the log of both sides. Okay, We'd have to bring this x down in front as a multiplier, so we'd have x log of 6 equals the log of 104. And to solve for x, we would divide both sides by the log of 6. That simplifies to 1. x equals Sorry, the log base 10 of 104 divided by the log base 10 of 6. So we would get an answer of 2.59208. 2.59208. And to check our work, we would say, what is 6 raised to that power? 6 raised to the control negative sign gives you the answer, okay? The previous answer. When we do that, we get 104, so we know we're good, okay? Now, that's one way to do this problem, okay? Another way to think about this is when we did the problems today in class, there was already a log, so we got it simplified as we could, and then we went to exponential form. Well, what if it's already in exponential form? Could we go to logarithmic form? Could we go backwards? If I wrote this in logarithmic form, we'd have log base 6, base of the exponent is the base of the log, of the argument equals the exponent. Log base 6 of 104, we'll look in our calculator. Log base 6 of 104. Look at that. Same exact answer, way fewer steps. Okay. Now the only problem with this is we have these amazing calculators. What if we whoa, what if we didn't have these amazing calculators? If we didn't have amazing calculators, we could not do this problem right here in our calculator cuz like I told you yesterday, our cal the old calculators only do log base 10 and log base e, okay? So you would have to know something called the change of base formula. Okay? I know that we are using these calculators and these calculators will do this problem, okay? But I don't know what calculator you're going to have at college, right? I want you to know the change of base formula just in case, right? And the change of base formula is the log base 10, because that's what the calculator will do, of the argument divided by the log base 10 of the base, okay? So for this particular problem, it would be the log of 104 divided by the log of 6. Now that might seem familiar to you because when I did it this way, when I took the log of both sides, guess what I ended up doing? The log of 104 divided by the log of 6. Okay? So really depending on which way you prefer and depending on what resources you have is how you'll do a, a problem like this. Okay? Let's do another problem Oops. like this just to make sure. Okay, so I could, because of the exponent having the variable, the, ex the variable being in the exponent, I could take the log of both sides, the log of, oops, 1.5 to the x equals the log of 22. The x would come down in front, so it would be x log of 1.5 equals the log of 22, and I could divide both sides by the log of 1.5. Log of 1.5. That's a 1 x then is going to equal the log of 20, whoops, log base 10 of 22 divided by the log base 10 of 1.5, not 8, 5. x equals 7.62345, okay? Again, we're going to check our work. And we're going to say 1.5 raised to that answer, that the previous answer, and sure enough we get 22. If we're going to solve this problem right here, 
1.5 to the x equals 22 by writing it into logarithmic form we would say log base 1.5 of 22 equals x and sure enough when we say log base 1.5 of 22 gives us the same answer that we just got on the previous side okay if we had to use the change of base formula we would do log of 22 divided by log of 1.5 okay what if we had to graph this okay once again let me go home and make a new document once again if we have these wonderful calculators we can put it straight in exactly as it is log base 2 of x plus 4 and we get this nice pretty drawing okay however if we don't have these nice pretty calculators I'm gonna have to trick this problem um, I have to use the change of base formula to be able to put it into my calculator I want to make sure that you understand you are clear that this is the same thing the log of x plus 4 divided by the log of 2 and you don't see anything new because it's right on top of the old problem okay please go fill out your uh, your whisk and have a wonderful day